welcome to nasir soft this is the natural language processing tutorial series and in this video i will describe one of the most important topic that is widely used in in many fields okay that is term frequency and inverse document frequency that is the combination of tf and idf so it consists of the two words that is first is tf that is term frequency which you already learned in the previous video and the other one is idf that is inverse document frequency so what is term frequency and idf term frequency is overall the each term overall occurrence in a document in an easy way okay i described it and the idf is basically the log of n divided by small n where n is the total number of rows or documents and n is the number of rows in which the word was present and this is basically the log of the both it means that the word that is most occur in all documents is idf value will be very low so basically it eliminate for example if a word that is stop words like is okay is is the word and it is highly occurred in most document so its idf value will be low so therefore it is very very important and the inverse document frequency that is idf is that a word is not of much use to us if that's appearing in all the documents just like the stop words so it is widely used in information retrieval and text mining okay so now let's about uh, say what is tf and idf combination okay so tf and idf combination is basically we multiply the term frequency with the inverse document frequency idf so it only give us that word that is most important but not occurred in all the document mostly occurred okay so let's understand it by example as the uh, tf idf give us the importance of a word okay or uh, in a given documents so to implement this one this is my python code and i have already imported some this is basically the previous uh, tutorials code okay from which i begin always so here there is no need but i already import the nltk nltk all packages okay you can also delete this one so here i import the pandas and through pandas i read a csv file okay if i show you the csv file as well so inside the csv file we have this text in the uh, first row the text is this one the second and third and fourth okay so let's implement the tfidf on this text okay that is the csv file so first we import the csv file through the pandas so now by using the tfidf directly from sklearn i will implement this so you need to import here from sklearn okay feature extraction here dot text we will import oh, oh sorry import the tf tf idf vectorizer so basically this is the sklearn dot feature extraction okay and delete this one dot text we import the tf idf vectorizer okay there isn't some error so again here write tf idf vectorize it this one okay and after reading the csv file here as inside that csv file the inside the text attribute all the text have so therefore we will apply the tf idf on the text attribute and here create a variable that is tf idf and by using the tf idf vectorizer okay okay this is the parentheses and sign the parentheses we will apply some attributes here and these are 
care paste this one this is also mentioned in video description so you can copy and paste this one so by tf idf we use the max features that is 1000 lower case we will apply it to all the lower case and analyzer that is word stop words in english and ngram that is one one and after that through the tf idf dot fit transform here inside our the csv file will apply on the text attribute and save the result to some variable that is for example tf idf values okay so this is the simple code by applying the tf idf on your text data from the csv and if i print the tf idf values and execute the program after applying the tf idf on all these text data by using the tf idf vectorized if i print this one Here's, there are the result you can see here the values here so this is how you can apply the tf idf in an easy way so hope this video will help you a lot if you have any question regarding to this topic uh, you can email me email is mentioned in video description or you can comment inside the video comment section don't forget to subscribe my channel for more informative videos stay blessed have a nice day.